Wow, this story is insane. Donald Trump's own nephew, Fred Trump III, just came out saying that he plans to vote for VP Harris in November, and then he dropped multiple bombshells about incredibly offensive things Donald Trump has said in the past, including racial slurs, including saying that disabled people should die, and much, much more. He also detailed how crazy Donald Trump actually is. What does it tell you when Donald Trump's own family members, people like Fred Trump, people like Mary Trump, Trump come out saying that he is unfit to hold office. What does it tell you when people that worked closely with Donald Trump during his first term, people like Mike Pence, people like Mark Meadows, say that he is unfit, that he has a kindergartner's understanding of foreign policy and a childlike understanding of U.S. politics? What does it tell you? It tells you that Donald Trump is unfit and he should not be president. Leave a like on the video if you appreciate what I do. Let's start off with this clip of Fred Trump the third talking to ABC and saying that Donald Trump is a Tom crazy Trump way complex and sometimes cruel and within every family people know this families are complicated every family has their crazy uncle my uncle Donald is atomic crazy and uh, he has put his mark on the family history atomic crazy yes What's that mean means uh, he does things that even as much as I know him when he's out there now I, I sort of shudder and say, is this the same guy I knew? What's, what's making him change? What, what got him this way? Donald Trump is like the crazy uncle in the family who has unfettered access to a massive audience of people that are easily persuadable. People that trust that crazy uncle like a god that look up to everything he says as absolute truth. That is the situation that we find ourselves in. Not just a normal crazy uncle, a crazy uncle with a massive audience and massive access to that audience 24 hours a day through Truth Social. But honestly, that was a very solid breakdown from Fred Trump and provides us some insight into the family dynamics of the Trump family. Here is Trump's nephew, Fred Trump, endorsing VP Harris for president. Kamala HQ posted this and it blew up getting 21,000 likes. I believe in policy over politics. Yeah. And without question, Kamala Harris's policies are what I get behind. So I will be voting for Kamala Harris. And if I'm asked, I will campaign for her without hesitation. Good. And if I... It's interesting to see how Fred Trump is a relatively normal guy despite growing up in the Trump family, growing up knowing Donald Trump. I'm sure he does have some sort of scars, but he seems relatively normal, level-headed. He's going to vote for VP Harris. This one says, Trump's nephew, Fred Trump III, alleges that when his disabled son's medical fund was low, Trump said to him, quote, your son doesn't recognize you. Let him die and move to Florida. But that is what he has become. It's sad. And this is the wild bombshell story about Donald Trump telling his nephew, Fred Trump, to just let his son die. And this comes after a pattern of Donald Trump saying disgusting things about disabled people, but we'll get into that. He's talking about human beings who have complex issues. And the first thing he could say was, they should just die. Fred claims this wasn't isolated, describing a phone call to alert his uncle the medical fund set up by the family for his son William was running low, a fund he says the former president consistently replenished. A couple of years ago, I said, I called him. I said, Donald, the fund's running out. And without hesitation, he said, your son doesn't recognize you. Let him die and move to Florida. <laughs> Were you surprised? <laughs> It's a great question. I, my response was, no, Donald, he does recognize me. And said, well, well thanks, <laughs> and, and, and hung up. Was I surprised? I, I don't think you could hear something like that and not be surprised. Um, but that is what he has become. Um, it, it's sad. I have more clips to play, but that one absolutely floored me. That story of Donald Trump, not only is it believable, but honestly, it sounds totally in character. Donald Trump has made fun of disabled people. He has repeatedly shown a lack of empathy for his fellow Americans if they're not sucking up to him. Even if they are sucking up to him, he really does not care. Watch this clip of Fred Trump III on his uncle Donald Trump. He used the N-word twice, just saying who he thought had done this. The question, you were 10 years old when the comments were allegedly uttered. You sure remember 
remember him that way. Oh, absolutely. And that is something that you don't forget. Hearing a family member cuss for the first time sticks with you, but hearing a family member say a racial slur, I can't imagine how much that would stick with a 10-year-old. Watch this clip. There's a chapter that you write about called the, the race card. What's that about? I was about 10 years old and I was at my grandparents' house, like I, I was a lot. And Donald, I could hear him screaming. And I went down to the driveway of my grandparents' house and there was his white Eldorado convertible with two slashes, still remember it. And he had electrical tape because the roof was black. And he used the word, the N word twice, just saying who he thought probably had done this. You were 10 years old when these comments were allegedly mm -hmm. uttered. Right. It, you sure you remember him that way? Oh, absolutely. He says he doesn't use the word. Okay, he did twice that day. Kids don't forget crucial moments like that. Kids remember stuff when it shocks them. And we have heard reports from other people that Donald Trump has worked with closely that he has said the N-word, like the people on The Apprentice that said he uttered the N-word in the early 2000s. So this has been a pattern with Donald Trump. And again, it is totally in character. Only a few decades after this, Donald Trump took out a paper, a full page paper, saying that the Central Park Five should be killed after they were already exonerated. He called for their execution after they were exonerated. He has repeatedly said the N-word. He has showed a lack of empathy towards disabled Americans, towards disabled individuals. He is just an absolutely abhorrent human being, and that isn't even mentioning all of the election interference, election denial. It honestly just sometimes blows my mind. It's hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that there is somebody that exists that is so vile, just as vile as Donald Trump, but also so powerful at the same time. How does somebody so vile rise to such a level of power? Fred Trump the third calls Uncle Donald Trump atomic crazy, says he used racial slurs decades ago. Fred Trump III, the nephew of former President Donald Trump, said his uncle is, quote, atomic crazy, that he witnessed him using racial slurs decades ago, and that he plans to vote for VP Harris. The Trump way was to be, quote, complex and sometimes cruel, Fred Trump said in an interview with ABC News' Aaron Katursky. Quote, and within every family, people know this, families are complicated, every family has their crazy uncle. And again, Donald Donald Trump is the epitome of the crazy uncle with the highest level of fame, and it blows my mind that he has gotten to this level in the first place. That is why we need to make sure that we are working every day to keep Donald Trump out of office. Right now, he is sort of on good behavior. I know he's saying some wild stuff, but other than that, he is trying to reel it back. He is trying to win this campaign, so he is not being as unhinged as we have seen him in previous campaigns. So we need to make sure that we are articulating the threat that Donald Trump poses, articulating the threat of Project 2025 and explaining to people that Donald Trump tried to subvert the will of the American people on January 6th of 2021. A good question to ask them is, why does Trump need a new VP? Ask it completely earnestly. Why does Trump need a new VP? And when MAGA supporters say, oh, Pence wasn't disloyal, you can jump in and explain to them that Pence wasn't disloyal on the day that Donald Trump wanted him to overthrow the election. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button. We're building an amazing community and I'm so glad that you can be a part of it. Make sure you're leaving comments, interacting with each other. We want to build an amazing community where we can panic together, cheer together, cry together, laugh together, everything. But most importantly, have a great day.